I had a tryout with WWE. Of course, my alter ego character phobia is what initially got my tryout with that with the company. Uh, but we never used that as a wrestling character. It never has been used under a, a like a wrestling persona. It's it's actually now, and thank God for that. Uh, I'm doing something so much bigger and um, diverse with it. But uh, it got my foot in the door as far as a tryout. So when I had my tryout, you know, I remember showing up to Stanford in 1997. It was shortly after my dad had passed. And that's where uh, I met Tom Pritchard. And uh, Tom and I spent a weekend. He was just feeling me out, you know, uh, getting, a, you know, in the ring and just going over some basic stuff. And, of course, my very first experience was Yokozuna, was Rodney, was there because he had been out for a while. I don't know if he had an injury or maybe he was, they were trying to get him to bring his weight down a little bit. So they sent him to the, the warehouse in Stanford um, to just kind of work off some some uh, rust sort of thing. And I hung out with Rodney for a couple of days and that was my very first uh, memories of WWE. And it was a, a very fun, great experience with him. He he said, man, your dad used to scare the crap out of me when I was a kid because if <laughs> he comes back, Samoan dynasty, that family. So there's that, you know, that, I guess that, that kind of was a bond and a kind of brought us a parallel, brought us together a little, you know, I bonded with him right away. He was just a really good guy. And I got to hang out with Rodney for a couple of days. Very funny guy too. I remember him dropping a leg on me and I was, I was petrified. We we're, we we're just training, you know, and just going over some moves and it felt, it just barely touched me. You know, he was so light uh, for a 600 pound plus guy, you know, but um they they called me back after my tryout a couple months later to say, hey, we want to train you full time. And uh, that's when I packed all my stuff up in Boise, Idaho and moved. because That's where I went to, you know, college, university um, and moved my life, uh, you know, to Stanford, Connecticut, where they put me up um, there and had to rent a rental car. And I had a, a little weekly, you know, developmental contract, which. I was being paid basically to, you know, it wasn't break the bank money, but it was, I'm being paid to train for my, you know, lifelong dream to be a WWE superstar. And uh, that's when the camp started in the warehouse where Dory Funk Jr. came in um, and Tom Pritchard, of course, assisted with that. So I, I was essentially trained by Dory Funk Jr. and Tom Pritchard. And of course, those camps were great. Um, Every month they'd fly, you know, periodically some guys would come in just to have a, a one or two day little look at try out. And then we'd have these full blown camps that would go a week, you know, where we, we, you know, it was a very, it was tough, man. It was, it was rough. Um, and, uh, but it was so structured where you get up in the morning, you have breakfast, you go to the gym, all there in Stanford at the headquarters, work out in the gym, have another bite to eat. And then now to the ring and we, we, we must've taken 200 bumps a day. Just Dory would have us doing all kinds of, you know, just hip tosses, you know, just backdrops, back bumps, turnbuckles. I mean, you were black and blue and beat up the time that camp was over. But by the end of the camp, uh, then we'd have spot shows where we would go to a, a show like on a Saturday or, or maybe it was a Friday night too. Friday and Saturday had these shows where we do spot shows and, um, you know, practice it out. But that's where I met the likes of, you know, Edge, Christian test you know rest his soul uh matt bloom prince albert there's the giant silva they i met mark merrill there ahmed johnson earthquake um al snow came through there uh crash holly i mean there's it, it just you know darren drozdov you know was there one of my very first uh talents that i i met there because he lived there and kind of took me in and showed me around and you know, God bless Darren. It's so unfortunate about what had happened with him, but he was just a really, really good soul, really good guy, you know, great athlete too. Um, but yeah, just uh, had, a, it was a great experience, man. I was brought, it was like a fast track to professional wrestling training because I had been around the business, grew up around it. Uh, my dad had retired in the 84, 1984, uh, but I still watched it, you know, uh, with on the weekends with my buddies and we're always emulating wrestling characters and, you know, just, I, we're, I was just, we we're so inspired by these larger than life characters. So it just kind of kept my, my inspiration to want to, you know, take after my dad and give that a try sometime. And that didn't come until after um, I finished college. I didn't actually get started with my training until really towards my late twenties, mm -hmm. mid to late twenties. Well, you probably did the right thing there. Get your, get your education first and then pursue what you, because there's always something to fall back on.